Chapter 1 Introduction Irrigation is the artificial process of supplying water to the soil for the proper growth of plants and crops. In other words, the artificial application of water to the land for supplementing the naturally available moisture in the root zone of the soil for the purpose of increasing agricultural productivity is termed as irrigation. Advantage of irrigation It increases the value of land. It increases the groundwater table storage. The bank of canal remains wet due to canal water seepage, so plantation can be done on large scale which increases the timber production and also helps to prevent the soil erosion. It can generate hydroelectricity. Due to irrigation, required water is supplied to the crop. Therefore, it is possible to grow grass crop like sugarcane, tobacco, etc. Proper irrigation helps in increase of food production which solves the food problem of the country. Deep and long irrigation canal can be used as navigation purpose. Disadvantages of irrigation Due to over irrigation, the water table rises up to the ground level that may cause water logging. Due to excessive irrigation, all ponds and depressions around the canal and cultural land are filled up with water, which may cause creation of mosquitoes on large scale. It may increase the conflict between farmers. Climate become damp at any season. Construction of canal affect the drainage of the area. To overcome this problem, so many costly cross drainage work are to be constructed, which may increase the cost of water task. Necessity of irrigation system. Number one, non-uniform rainfall. The rainfall is neither uniform at all places nor equally distributed over the crop period. It varies from place to place and season to season. When rainfall is not uniformly distributed for the crop period, it is not possible to obtain estimated crops by rainfall only. To overcome this problem, irrigation system is necessary. Number 2. For cash crop production for production of cash crop like sugarcane, tobacco, etc. in all season, rainfall is not sufficient, so irrigation system is required. Number 3. Less rainfall. Due to less rainfall, the minimum requirement of water for plant growth cannot be fulfilled by rainwater only, so irrigation system is required. Function of irrigation water. Water dissolves the nutrients which are absorbed by the roots. It lowers the temperature of soil and creates healthy environment for plant growth. It prevents the frost action in the soil. It supplies sufficient moisture to the soil for growth of plant. Sources of irrigation water Surface water source River, lake, stream, pond, subsurface water source, well, spring, infiltration galleries. Types of irrigation Based on level of available water, irrigation can be classified into two types. Number one, flow irrigation. Number two, lift irrigation. Based on the duration of irrigation, it can be divided into two types. Number one, perennial irrigation. Number two, non-perennial irrigation.